Welcome to RK Tutorials. Solutions to Engineering Mechanics by S. Dimension. In this tutorial, we will discuss problem set 2.7 and problem number 2.108. Two blocks connected by a horizontal link AB are supported on two rough planes as shown in the figure. The coefficient of friction for block A on horizontal plane is 0.4. The angle of friction for block B on the inclined plane phi is equal to 15 degrees. What is the smallest weight W of block A for which equilibrium of the system can exist? That means there are two blocks A and B are resting on these two surfaces. A prismatic bar AB is connecting these two blocks. Here the coefficient of friction is 0.4 but here the angle of friction is phi is equal to 15 degrees. What is the weight, minimum weight W for which the equilibrium should exist? So for that, we will try to draw the free body diagram for both the blocks A and B. So first, let us draw the free body diagram for block B. What are the various forces that are acting on block B? The first force is self weight. Next. It is resting on an inclined surface, hence there is a reaction force and it's, since it is a rough inclined surface, there is a frictional force. Since there is a possibility that the block B will try to slide in the downward direction, hence there is a friction force may act in the upward direction. And there is a prismatic bar AB is connected, the prismatic bar, the tension in the prismatic bar maybe it is away from the block B. So let us assume the normal reaction is NB and the frictional force is equal to mu into NB tensile force in the prismatic bar AB is let us say T. Given that the phi value is 15 degrees hence the coefficient of friction mu is equal to tan 15 that is 0 0.268 so mu B value is 0.268. Let us draw, uh, let us transfer all these three forces onto separate xy plane. So the first one is the self weight, 1780 newtons. Second one is the frictional force, 0 0.268 into NB. Next one is the reaction force, NB, and the tensile force, T. Now there are two inclined forces. We need to find the angles made by these two inclined forces. Now this surface makes an angle 30 degrees with the vertical. That means that mu and b, so this angle is 30 degrees, this angle becomes 30 degrees and this angle becomes 30 degrees. Because it is perpendicular, this angle is equal to 30 degrees. Now let us resolve all the forces along x-axis and y-axis. Now 1780 is a vertical force, T is a horizontal force, you need not to bother that NB makes an angle 30 with the horizontal, hence the horizontal component becomes NB cos 30, vertical component becomes NB sin 30 and 0.268 NB makes an angle 30 with the vertical, hence the horizontal component becomes 0.268 NB sin 30 and the vertical component 0.268 NB cos 30. Now these are the forces after resolution. Now I will apply sigma fx0 and sigma fy0 equilibrium conditions. By considering sigma fx is equal to 0 and I will consider this direction is my positive direction for x axis and this direction I will consider positive direction for y axis. So 0.268 nb sin 30 is equal to t plus nb cos 30. Now I can simplify because sin 30 is equal to 0 0.5 and cos 30 you know it is 0 0.866 and after simplification you will get t plus 0.732 nb is equal to 0 after simplification. Similarly I will consider sigma fy is equal to 0. Now there are two forces acting in the positive direction 0 0.268 nb cos 30 plus nb sin 30 is equal to the now after simplification, cos 30 is nothing but 0.866 and uh, sin 30 is 0 0.5. So after simplification, you will get 0 0.732 NB is equal to 1780 or NB is equal to 2431.69 Newtons. Now you can substitute back here. 
I can substitute back and from that I can find the value of t. The t value is minus 1780. What is the meaning of this minus? Initially we assumed that the tension in the prismatic bar is a tensile but since I got negative the tension force in the prismatic bar is compressive. Now let us consider the free body diagram of weight A. 8A looks like this. Now the various forces acting on weight A are the first one is self weight and there may be a reaction force here. Let that reaction force is Na and the body will try to move as there may be a frictional force 0.4 into Na towards right side is a prismatic bar and the tension in the prismatic bar just now we calculated that value is minus 1780. Now I will transfer all those forces onto separate xy plane weight W is acting downwards Na is acting upwards and 0.4 Na is towards right side and T value minus 1780 is towards right side. Now by applying equilibrium equation sigma fx is equal to 0 I can write 0 0.4 Na minus 1780 and I got Na is equal to 4450 and then sigma Fy is equal to 0 there are only two equations W and Na and W is equal to Na is equal to 4450 and this is the answer for the given problem.